this painting theoretically could be equally make equal as much sense or nonsense uh, or in this way or in the other way and to a lesser degree or in the along this way with this at the bottom uh, and in each instance you know, and here I can imagine the way you might look at it as well as myself, that it looks, it looks whole, but no, it's all of a sudden, there's something wrong, <laughs> right? No. What's the best way to hang it? <laughs> and and which right. always a puzzle would come. Sometimes I do it that way. It seems to have some weight, yeah. right? But and this way where the eye pierces it to the to the depth of it. And, um, it's really about the state of mind or doubleness or tripleness. But, um, there, there's a I did you know I went to art school so I didn't have a organized liberal arts uh, uh, background. So like many people from art school, I, I picked my reading from everywhere. You can hickle and pick it, but I was reading. Um, there was a there was a, a psychologist, a sociologist named Murphy Bell who wrote a book in the seventies I think. Presentation of cells in everyday life. And I think you know, everybody you know, in different situations, you play different roles, right? Uh, they're not masks, you know, they're not just, but, but they're within yourself. And that doubleness is, is sort of also a thing that was in my, on my mind. I think this figure was a, was set early, and he was as he she he was changed, and this this whole part was the yeah. the into from the. Concern. He's almost hugging, almost touching. He's, he's up close, right? And then that plunge into into space yeah. and the uh, and and, and the uh, uh, duality of of, of, of of space. Um, so it's as a, to just return before I but we got more work. He really has was generated by this sense of oneself and the inner uh, the of dualities yeah. that were possible and the I guess the rest I come back to the term restlessness I was at, I had the studio on West 14th Street first on Christopher Street West 14th Street and finally up between 8th and 9th Avenue on 39th Street. Uh, conveniently, in that case, near the bus terminal. But at each place, it had its own why, to put it that way. Uh, and sometimes a rather hairy one. Right. Uh, uh, and that experience of being, and I call this big, this, this this show being among others, all right, is very much what was on my mind. Yeah. So not so much only seeing things, but noticing. This 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 painting was the, the genesis of it was uh, I would drive out to Queens College where I taught for many years. Oh, and uh, Grant, was it the Grand Central Parkway, I guess? Mm -hmm. And I, I forget the name of the roads. 
Uh, there was a, there were little bridges that went over the highway. Uh, occasionally, I had to cross those uh, walkways, really, from one side to the other to get to a building on the other side. Uh, and the painting grew out of this you know, flood of traffic on the highway and the movement of a group of people upon the bridge. The painting is in four panels because I was trying to, I was thinking about noticing in time, right? Uh, and the slight breaks between them. There are both continuities and disruptions. Uh, when we are in a complex situation with people around us, we're aware of sometimes too close. And at other times, our eyes go into distance. At certain moments, individual details <coughs> catch our attention for various reasons, because they are pretty handsome or pretty or they are a little bit dangerous, or just weird, or for, for a host of other reasons as well. And I was trying to suggest the pattern of, of course, seeing, not seeing, but noticing. Mm -hmm. I guess that's, that's the good word. Noticing how we, how, how I, and presumably others too, might notice events occurring again for me, and then maybe this isn't something that that that, that, is, that goes beyond me. Uh, I have to somehow enter as I enter the spaces I make it, and I do think I think I love the way I love the way it's presented in this gallery. <laughs> because we tend to be rather close to the pictures, right? Mm -hmm. um, which means, to this picture, which means you don't really see the whole thing at once. You're, you're, you're kind of, uh, what do I say? To, you're forced to see a section. Excuse me? You're forced to see a section. That's, well, consecutively or, yeah, more or less, I guess, depending on how you want to do it, or jumping between similarities and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, from, I, I hope, underscores the potentiality that the space here is one that is shared with the viewer was a participant participating in the work. And and that's a, something very important to me. I like this long horizontal format. And again this this place is a good place to see it. Uh, because it 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 encourages the visitor or rather, to be aware of the time to take it in, right? Because given the kind of events that are happening, uh, you it's almost if a little bit like you take a walk through it. Is that a fair way to say it? Yeah, that's very yeah. good. Okay. Um, and in this one, um, the sidewalk, okay, the 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 back hole, I guess it is. Uh, the rest is pretty much invented, but it's a matter of invented out of just being in the city for a long time. It's not a specific place. 
right? Uh, and there is a play here that I, I wanted to happen uh, between, or uh, rather to, to underscore the role of the viewer or the, poten the viewer potentially in the in the in the space, uh, and to also underscore this uh, sense of of the of the sort of different qualities of description having to do with distance in, in the sense I've spoken about it just before. Um, I wanted to open it up, so in a sense. You are almost at the point where you could go down that street or go over on the other street, right? That <laughs> there's that kind of spread to it. Uh, this this guy and the young kid in front of him drove me crazy. <laughs> right? I I have. And so, and I think I think it was this one. I took some photographs as I went along, and how substantial or insubstantial he was to be in order to create this kind of sense of interval between him and this, which is probably the most physical thing yeah, in the painting, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the figures. Are almost sometimes come become almost phantoms in relation to that. Mm -hmm. Now he's important. He's a key, but his degree of existence was the puzzle for me. Yeah. Of course, you get the gigantic hand, <laughs> right? Uh, it's <laughs> it's there. It, I guess I was thinking it, it's it has to be by it has to be by yeah. hand it has to be yeah. the your participant's hand okay. uh, it, uh, it, and holding onto a pole that says no parking or something like that and, and, be, and you're peering in the difference between the degree of description here and what happens with this guy. Uh, he's middle distance, he's in the shadow. There's a suggestion of volume, but it's fragile. As if and here's my thinking, and you can say, oh, it's bullshit, or yeah, no. <laughs> it's actually a positive. She's important. Oh, she's very important. important. She's, she's looking at us. Right? She's looking yeah. at us. She's yeah. very defined. Yeah, yeah. And that's another thing. In, in a painting like this, when it might seem that one of the figures is looking back at you. Yeah. 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 How does the rest of the field shift and change? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are things that are on my mind. When people say, okay, these are city paintings. Yes, they are. That's the subject. That's where I was. But I think of them, and I hope it's not a delusion, that these are paintings about experiencing and conceivably could could be about you know in other kind of environments too there it's a it's about the live experiencing in time not like a movie because it's not in a single direction it move it can move in different ways you know uh, I love to work on this scale, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.